490 break and enters in the last three months in Mississauga and Brampton. Break and enters are among the most common crimes in Mississauga and Brampton, with just shy of 500 reported incidents in the last three months. According to Peel Regional Police data, there were 490 break and enters from May 16 to August 17. This works out to an average of five or more crimes of this kind committed each day. Compared to earlier this year, January to April 2024, 446 break-ins were reported. The recent number of cases means break-ins have gone up nearly 10 percent. Both cities saw their fair share of crimes of this nature with 309 of these incidents happening in Mississauga and the other 181 in Brampton. The map below shows where the break-in enters took place, the data also highlights that the following places were targeted, 242 houses, 20 apartments, 29 residential garages or sheds, 11 construction sites, 18 schools, 2 factories, 1 gas station, 2 offices, 28 restaurants, 29 stores and 108 were unidentified businesses. Queen Street, 18 Occurrences As of August 17 with the investigations into the majority of these cases, 402 are still ongoing. 60 are considered solved, and 28 have been deemed unsolved. Here are some notable break-in incidents between May and August of this year. Boy, 14, among four teens charged in gunpoint home invasions. Three people stabbed, three teens charged in two home invasions targeting luxury vehicles in Brampton. Mississauga man who faced several charges following a home invasion. Man charged in armed home invasion and two other robberies. Peel police say some properties are more likely to be targeted than others, such as corner lots, homes that back onto parks, and other open spaces, as well as homes that do not appear to be maintained or lived in. Residential break-ins are typically crimes of opportunity, police say. Burglars target certain properties based on characteristics that will increase their chances of breaking in without getting caught. There may never be a month without incidents related to break-ins. However, the positive news is that there are safety measures community members can adopt to safeguard themselves and their families. Peel Police advise residents to follow these tips. Ensure that shrubs and hedges around the property are maintained to have clear lines of sight to all accessible windows and doors. Keep garage and screen doors locked, even while at home. Get to know the neighbors and join forces by looking out for each other's properties. Consider installing a second locking device for windows and any sliding doors.